Hey guys, welcome back to another Procreate tutorial with Mad Chen. Today we're going to be making a Bruce Lee Among Us drawing on iPad with Procreate tutorial. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. So stick around and I'll show you the Among Us Procreate tutorial in just a few moments. So let's get straight into the Procreate tutorial. The first thing you want to do is come up here to the brush library and go to calligraphy and then make sure that you have the monoline brush selected. Next you want to come up here to the color wheel and you want to make sure that black is selected. For the next line, we need to come up about a third of the way from the bottom up so that we can start drawing the bottom half of the character and draw some legs. You can also take this time to refine any of your lines. Next we go to layers, then we click on the plus icon over here to open up a new layer above the body outline we did earlier. Again, you can make some minor adjustments if you're not happy with how your lines turned out. We need to get on the backpack next. So we're going to go up to layers again. Click the plus icon to open up a new layer. And drag this new layer under the body outline. So what we're aiming for is a rectangular shape with rounded corners. Always close your shape so that when we fill it in with color later, it doesn't spill out. Next, we need to do the hands. So we come back here to layers. Click on the body that we did before. Then click on the plus icon. Before we draw the hand, I want to mention that we need to turn off the backpack layer by clicking on this checkbox here. This makes it easier for us to see how we draw our hand. Now we're going to draw the other arm and hand. So we come back here to layers, select the backpack layer, click on the plus icon to open up a new layer above the backpack layer. And now we're ready to draw the other arm and hand. Just like the backpack, we have to make sure that the shape for our arm is closed off. Next, we need to come up here to layers and we need to make sure that all of the boxes on the side here are checked. So let's check the backpack layer. The next thing we're going to do is duplicate each of the layers so that we have two copies of each drawing. We can duplicate a layer by sliding it to the left and choosing duplicate. So let's do that for each of the layers. Now we're going to color a drawing, but we're going to make sure that our colors only apply to the second layer of each drawing. So let's start with a backpack and make sure that the second layer is selected. Then we come up here to the color wheel. Then we choose a yellow. I'm going to choose this yellow here. Then we can just drag and drop the color onto our backpack. Let's continue doing that for the other layers. Now this top drawing is going to be a different color, so we need to go back to the color wheel and choose blue. So once we choose a light blue, now we can just drag and drop the blue. Next we're going to do some shading, so we come back here to layers and let's start with the backpack again. So let's click on the yellow layered backpack and click the plus icon to open up a new layer above it. Click on the blank space here on the left and then choose Clipping Mask. We're going to come up here and choose black from the color wheel. Now we can start shading the backpack. So you want the shading to come up from the top. Now 
Don't forget to close your shape. Fill in the space. Come up to layers. Go back to that layer that you've just created. Click on N. And over here you have opacity. You want to bring down your opacity until you're happy with your shading. So I'm going to stop at 34%. I'm going to do this for each of the yellow body parts. Now we're also going to be shading this part of the drawing right here. We're just going to be using a different color for it. So again, we click on the plus icon to open up a new layer above it. Click on the empty space, choose clipping mask, and then let's go up to the color wheel and choose a darker blue. I'm going to choose this one. We're also going to add highlights, so let's click on layers. Click on this layer here. Go back to the color wheel. Choose white. And then we can add some shine. Lastly, we're going to add some nunchucks. Click on layers. Make sure you choose the arm under the yellow body layer. Then click on the plus icon to open up a layer between the arm and the yellow body. Then you want to come up to the color wheel and choose red. Next we need to change the size of the brush so we're gonna increase the size to around 60%. So you just want to draw a short line then hold your pen down so that your shape will automatically snap into a straight line. Next, we need to open up a new layer so that we can draw the second part of the nunchucks. So we go back to layers here. Then you need to make a layer between the backpack and the hand that we were just working on. So we click on the empty backpack here and then click on the plus icon. It'll open up a new layer between the backpack and the hand. When we draw this nunchuck, you want to make sure that this thumb will be resting on the stick. Now we need to draw the chains between the two red sticks. So we come up here to layers, add a new layer, go to the color wheel, choose black or brown. We also need to choose a thinner brush. So we come up here to the brush library, go to inking, make sure to select the fine tip brush. Then we just need to draw an oval. Don't forget to hold your pen down so that it snaps into a perfect oval. Once you're happy with the shape, you can let go. We're going to need two more copies of this chain, so we need to go back to layers and duplicate this copy two more times. So now we can separate them out. Make sure you have the top chain selected. And then we go here to this arrow icon, click on it so that we can move our chain to a different position. We'll do the same for this bottom layer down here. Click on this arrow icon up here to also move this chain. You can also take this time to adjust the positions of your chains. We're almost done with our character. All we need to do now is draw lines between the chains to connect them. We go to the brush library and we go to calligraphy and again we choose the monoline brush we go back to layers and we choose the empty backpack layer click on the plus icon to open up an empty layer above the backpack layer now we can start drawing the lines to connect the chains Thank you for watching guys and I hope this Among Us drawing on iPad with Procreate tutorial was helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Please also smash that like button 
And you can also leave a comment down below to let me know what kind of Procreate tutorial videos you'd like to see next. I'll also leave a link up above so that you can check one of my other Procreate tutorial videos. And there will also be other Procreate tutorial links in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.